What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today I will be sharing a heatless curls method that is the best method I have ever tried. All you need is a belt from your robe and hair elastics. Let's get into it. This is what you'll end up looking like, but first make sure your hair is slightly damp. You can either wash your hair and let it air dry for a little bit and then start doing the curls when your hair is still a little damp or you can spray just a little bit of water into dry hair and start doing the curls. Make sure your hair is not soaking wet because your hair won't dry in the curls. Just make sure it's a little damp. Then you're ready to go. First you're going to part your hair however you would normally part it. You don't want your hair to be in a part that you wouldn't normally wear it as. I always have a slight side part. Now that I have the part that I want, I'm going to split my hair into two sections. I'm going to elastic off one section so it's out of the way and I'm going to brush my hair on the side. Now get the belt from your robe and place it about two inches back from the front of your head and you want it to be pretty even. You want the strands to <laughs> be pretty even at the very ends. Now you're going to take a section of hair from the front and wrap it around the belt and add hair to the section and wrap it around the rope and keep doing this all the way down. So add hair and wrap around. Add hair and wrap around. Now your hair is going to end up inside buns. For me, it's more comfortable if the buns are together in the back of my head because it's easier for me to sleep on my side or my stomach without the side buns hurting my head. So try to aim the hair towards the back of your head rather than going down towards the nape of your neck. Now I've added all of the hair and I'm just gonna keep wrapping it around the belt. I'm gonna take a small elastic and wrap it around the end of my hair. I'm just gonna leave a few inches out and then I'm gonna tie it off. Now make sure you're holding your hair so it doesn't unwind while you're trying to wrap the elastic around it. Now that I have this side done, I'm going to start wrapping it into a bun. I'm gonna twist it around itself and make a bun in the back of my head. I'm now going to take a scrunchie to secure the bun. Now do the exact same thing on the other side. So brush it out, grab a section of hair, wrap it around the belt, add hair to that section and continue to wrap it around the belt. This is very similar to a French twist. When you do a French twist, you have two sections of hair. Just imagine that the belt is the other section of hair. Now that all the hair is added, go ahead and continue wrapping it around the belt. Now take an elastic and secure the end. Now take this section and wrap it into a bun. I'm gonna take a, another scrunchie and secure the right bun to the left bun. I do this so both of the buns are secured together. And there you go. I'm going to sleep with this in tonight and wake up in the morning and take it out. If you want to, you can do this earlier in the day and let it dry throughout the day and then you can take them out to have curls at night. Good morning, it is time to take this out. Now let's reveal the curls. First, I'm gonna take the scrunchies out. Now that I look like Pippi Longstocking, I am going to take the elastics out. Yay! Just carefully unwind them without combing through the curls. Here 
here is one side, now I'm going to do the other. Yay! They are super kinky though. They will totally calm down in just a little bit. You can run your fingers through them, fix some curls ever you want to. You can flip your head upside down to make them more voluminous, but here's what they look like. I love these curls so much. They are super bouncy and super fun, and they're so easy. You have to try it out. I hope y'all try these heatless curls out. They are super easy, and they look so good. The Bible verse I want to talk about today is Ephesians 6.10. Ephesians 6.10 says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. The Lord is so powerful. We have the opportunity to allow him into our hearts and accept Jesus as our Savior. And once we've done that, we have the strength of the Lord in us. So be strong in him today. Know that you can do hard things with the Lord. I hope y'all have a wonderful day today. Comment down below what your favorite hairstyle is because I want to know. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and click the notification down below. Also, I have an Instagram account. It is Lydia K. Delay. You are welcome to follow that as well. I hope you all have a great day today. Be a blessing to others today. Bye guys.